you know, you guys use um, hydroxyapatite, correct? Correct. So tell me, tell me the difference. Like, what's the difference? NASA actually originally patented nanohydroxyapatite. And for remineralization purposes, which is strengthening enamel, they made it 80 to 100 nanometers. So it actually gets into the dental tubules. And then that patent was sold to a Japanese company in 1970. You know, at this point, it's been several decades. Huge body of literature showing that nanohydroxyapatite is just as effective as fluoride at remineralizing teeth. It's also got all these other benefits too. So it's not toxic. It was just as effective as fluoride without any of the question marks, right? It, not only does it remineralize teeth, but also whitens teeth, which fluoride doesn't do because it develops a new glossy layer of enamel. It's a white mineral, so it reflects light better, so it makes brighter teeth. It is just as effective as chlorhexidine, which is a basically antibiotic mouth rinse, um, at preventing plaque accumulation. It essentially acts as a decoy. So the plaque accumulates on the nanohydroxyapatite that's not on the tooth instead of the tooth surface. Right. And then the other thing that's really cool is because it plugs dental tubules, it treats dental sensitivity. Because there are other toothpastes that use potassium salts, like potassium nitrate, famously like Sensodyne. Sensodyne, yeah which is helpful for sensitive teeth, but that just stops the action potential, the nerve signal from going from the tooth to the brain. Yeah. So yeah, it helps numbing and it helps with sensitivity, but it doesn't actually treat the sensitivity. Where nanohydroxyapatite remineralizes the dentin in the dental tubules, which fluoride doesn't even do, yeah. stops the fluid pressure from pushing on the nerve and results in less sensitive teeth. 